How many times had you had the defendant's dog over your home? There are 20 different text messages between the defendant and I where their dog has escaped their house. How many dogs do you have? We have four. Four dogs? Yes. And when these play dates occurred, you would have had, what, five, six dogs roaming around your mm -hmm. home and playing and frolicking? And... We have a nice backyard. Okay, so tell us what your position is with respect to this. Like, it wasn't negligent just letting my dog out and not, like, paying attention. I had a, a four-year-old at home. I was breastfeeding my month-old, and it's about 8.30 at night or so, and I just felt this gust of wind come through my house, and I was like, oh, my back door's open, my dogs are gone. And I mean, I was standing on my front porch not knowing what to do. How many dogs do. did you have? I only have two. And Boog? Boog is, and Lady. Is and the alleged culprit. Yes. Yeah, even with the baby on my chest, I was outside calling for him. And I mean, Lady came and by the time I like realized that my dogs were out, they were already calling me, okay. telling me that Boog was up there and my husband was at work. Right. So I was and, by myself. And you claim in your papers, Boog got more than he gave in the sense yes. that yes. he yes. got beat up by got, Kevin. Yeah, he got beat up. That's what you same. claim. And both of you have submitted photographs of the injury. So let's just take a look. This is Kevin. What kind of dog is Kevin? He is a German Shepherd uh, Retriever mix. Is this his right leg? It is. Bug latched onto his leg and wouldn't let go. Uh, so Kevin ended up getting sutures, two Penrose drains. He is on antibiotics and pain medication. Pitbull. Yep. Yeah. That is prior. Is he neutered? No. No, um, I have a we date. We do for have it. the confirmation date for the neuter on May 20th, and then we can get him registered through Missouri. And we've been in contact with um, animal control that they called and reported. Um, she's come to the house several times and has. We can't get him registered until we get him neutered. So we have that confirmation. And for by the way, this, this law only applies to pit bulls, right? Correct. And is this also a photograph of your dog? Yes, and, that's and the injury. And it shows injuries. the damages yes. to your dog's nose. Yeah. And, uh, and mouth. And face. And mouth. And what, what kind of treatment did you have to give? We both grew up around dogs and raising dogs. And so we have, you know, different kinds of over-the-counter medication and drawing salads and stuff and know how to dress a wound. You didn't take him to the vet? No. no. You, didn't, you didn't incur any expenses. And how, and how is Kevin now? Physically, he's good. Um, he's really skittish now, if the other dogs start to get into it. Judge Tewalde. How far do you guys live from each other? Not About even... a block would be a good comparison. About a block, okay. Yeah, it's all on the same roads. Bug got away pretty often. I was reading in the text messages, why? I don't have a very tall fence in the backyard. It's just a four foot chain link fence and he's got about a five foot vertical. Okay. So he can jump pretty easily. So if one of the kids goes out in the backyard to, to play and they don't get a door shut all the way or something, he's... He's gone and roaming. Roams. That wouldn't concern you guys? Like, did he... Oh, it does. No, oh, it no, does. 100%. We immediately it's leave usually, the house and yeah. go looking for him. He's usually not gone very long. I noticed, and I had to question how far you two live from each other, because when you allege that Bug jumped on Kevin, you called the defendant and were, you know, alarmed and saying that Bug is killing Kevin. I wouldn't think to call the defendant. I would be trying to get the two dogs apart. So explain that to me. Uh, we did everything that we thought that we could do. We were stomping on the ground. We were yelling for them to stop. We sprayed water on them. We were clapping our hands. I'm imagining Kevin. The entire situation is in probably pain. lasted about five minutes. But five minutes is a long time when you're being attacked, and there was nothing you could do until she came over. And yeah, you said that she bug immediately stopped. She was able to get him to stop immediately. And you've never noticed any aggressive behavior from Bug? They've kind of gotten to it over a toy, but other yeah. than that, nothing alarming. If this were to have, you know, happened at their house, I can maybe understand your argument in terms of negligence, they weren't watching them properly, or whatever the case may be. But it happened under your supervision. Well, I think that the fact that their dog has come over so many times, I had no reason to believe that this was going to happen. And they didn't either, right? I mean, I, no. I have no Bug's reason never, to believe that Boog is any form of aggression Never at, once. Whatsoever. Even in the previous altercation, Boog had a had a pinhole in the middle of his head, mm -hmm. and there, it was surprising to us then. I mean, all of us. If Kevin and Bug were at their place, and Kevin attacked Bug, would you turn to the plaintiffs and say, hey, you owe us money? Oh, no. Why not? We don't. Because that happens. Yeah. Uh, you can't control a dog fight. Sometimes it just happens. And I know you guys are gonna say the right answers. <laughs>